While millions struggle to find jobs, demand for one work or for workers in one industry continues to grow. Two News reporter Brandon Richard shows us why welders are in high demand. I've been here for about two months now and uh, really learned a lot through here. By the time Anthony Elbert graduates from welding school next week, he hopes to have a job lined up. I have a few job leads right now, one may be out of state. Anthony doesn't have a lot of reason to worry. Demand for skilled welders is high nationwide, including in Tulsa. Part of the reason? Welding jobs are tied closely to a variety of other industries that continue to grow. And Tulsa is unique unto itself. Tulsa is and used to be one of the largest cities for manufactured iron. And of course they need welders. Gotta have welders. Gotta have welders. The demand for welding jobs is nothing new in Tulsa, but what is new are the growing number of people who are changing their careers to welding, most of them for better pay. But filling those jobs hasn't been easy. As the welding jobs coordinator at Standby Personnel, a labor staffing agency, Gary Small interviews a lot of applicants and can tell you... Not everybody's cut out to be a welder. Uh, there's just a, there's a lot of things that play a part in being a welder itself. Like long hours, which welding instructor Gene Norwood says hurts a lot of companies. I think a lot of companies have a difficult time getting people to work those long hours. Oh, yeah. There's something else. It can be dirty, you know, it, it's not the, a cl the cleanest job in town. But the pay's good. The average welder makes more than $17 an hour, according to the Labor Department. And if they're like Anthony and willing to travel, welders can make a lot more in a short time. The money financially, you know, it's, it's there. So you has got to be willing to do it. Reporting in Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. A new report